after surgery, in the beginning, you think the pain will never go away. But it does. The quicker you get active, the better off you are. So I found that getting out and walking a mile a day was the best thing I could have ever done instead of sitting home worrying about how much I was going to hurt. From there, you have to slowly exercise more and more. Uh, I didn't really go on a weight training program or do any heavy lifting. That wasn't necessary for my doctor. But stretching and doing things and actually driving was okay. Uh, eventually drive. Uh, then working at the school, coaching basketball requires moving the neck. Uh, refereeing volleyball, <laughs> watching the ball going back and forth over the net. You have to exercise your neck. As you move through the process, you lower your pain medicine that you need because you feel better when you get more limber. Right now, I'm way down from where I used to be post-surgical. And it shouldn't be long before I won't have to take any at all. And I think that comes from staying busy, keeping yourself distracted. Distraction is an excellent way to handle pain. It's better than pain medication. I don't think there's any medication out there that's better than distraction. Uh, go volunteer at your local school. Go back to school and take a few classes. That's what I have done after the process to feel better. And right now, I just make sure I keep my day extra full. Wake up, get the kids off to school. I go to school. Then I go coach. Then I come home and I fix dinner, my wife gets home, then I go to class at 6.30, I get home at 10.30, I don't have time to think about pain. But I, I do just take a little bit of medicine to take the edge off so I can sit in class, you know, for four hours with two 10-minute breaks. <laughs> but if you're learning and thinking and reading, you're, you're not thinking about pain.